In applied information technology, there are seven elements of design and six principles of design that we must understand. With the elements of the building blocks, the line, shape, space, texture, color, 3D form and tone, the seven elements of design that we should be able to understand, explain and give examples of how they are used. Now it's how we combine these that builds up the principles of design. The principle of design help us to formulate designs that look pleasing and serve the purpose. So let's have a look at the different ways they can be combined. The first principle of design is balance. Balance is fairly simple to understand. We can have balance between objects. Here the two white rectangles build up of elements are the same size and equally spaced on the page. So they are in balance. You could also say that there is balance between the white space and the black space that surrounds it. So the positive space and the negative space are in balance. The second design principle is emphasis. Emphasis can be shown in two ways that we need to understand on the Applied Information Technology syllabus. The first one of emphasis is contrast. So we can change the emphasis of something by changing the contrast. Here we're using a very simplistic way, white text on a black background as opposed to black text on white background. So we're showing that there's two different sections of this design by changing the contrast. The other way we can show emphasis is by proportion. Here we have two objects, one being larger than the other. This can show that the one object is more important or one object draws you to the uh, design more than the other one because of the emphasis by proportion. The next principle is that one of dominance. Here we can simply say the white part of the design dominates the black part of design. So by simply having more of the white, it is the dominant colour in this design. Unity is also shown in two different ways. So here we can have unity shown by proximity. So that the group of four at the top and the group of six in the bottom, their proximity is very close to each other, so it shows that these objects belong together. These elements form some sort of group, and there's two groups that are separate from each other. So it's simple how close they are, it shows me that. The second part of unity is repetition. By repeating one element over and over again, we can have that sort of unity shown. Here we have three lines made up of different elements, showing that that's a repetition. So it gives a unity to the design by repeating the same type of style or elements over and over again. Getting to some more complex ones to show is pattern. Pattern is where we can use elements, might be the line or colour, to create patterns, things that repeat things that are pleasing. Um, here we've got a pattern repeating, just to give a bit of an idea on the page there. And the last principle of design is movement. We're talking about static designs here, web pages, not moving web pages, posters, infographics. So we're talking about things that are going to be printed out basically, but we try and give an idea of movement that the eye follows a line from one point to another point and shows the design has this movement in it. They are the seven elements and the six principles that you need to understand for the course.